Well, thank you for joining us today. My name is Carrie Gladstone. Uh, this is an exciting day at Granite United Way and working with our partners. Uh, not only is it the announcement of Citizens Bank's renewal of generous support uh, for the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Initiative, but it also happens to be Earned Income Tax Credit, or EITC Awareness Day. That's a real thing. So before we get started, uh, a lot of folks are poss or make this possible. Uh, we wouldn't be here without the, the generosity of the folks at NeighborWorks Southern New Hampshire, so I'd like to introduce Robert Turney to uh, come up and say a few words of, of welcome on behalf of our host today. Thanks, Carrie. Well, thank you all for being here. It does seem a little strange to be celebrating the kickoff of tax season, right? Yeah. I mean, we're all looking forward to paying our taxes, but, uh, but VITA has been such an essential program uh, for our organization and for the clients and the folks that we serve both on the home ownership side and on the rental side. So NeighborWorks Southern New Hampshire is uh, pleased to have you all join us uh, today, the folks from the United Way, the folks from Citizens Bank, to really continue this partnership to help so many people uh, with that foundation that we really believe in, financial literacy and taking advantage of the resources that are available to help people build that foundation, whether they want to buy a house or move forward and uh, strengthen their, their financial um, movement going forward. I mean, we've had our folks refer to the work that we do as uh, like building a house. Your financial literacy is your foundation. And so VITA has been an important resource and an important tool uh, for us to help people over the years. And so we're very thankful that uh, you could all be here today. And uh, we're glad to be able to host and continue to be a partner with both Citizens Bank and Granite United Way. So thank you very much for being here. And Mayor, thank you for being here as well. Thank you, Robert, and, and uh, for hosting today and for your work, including with uh, our friends at Home Team, the financial education arm of NeighborWorks Southern New Hampshire. You are a partner in our work every day. So this morning, you'll hear from a number of individuals who have played an important role in launching uh, this year's VITA program. I'd like to start by introducing uh, Sean Owen, who is the chair of the board of Granite United Way. Thank you, Carrie. Uh, so today does actually mark the seventh year that Citizens Bank has been involved in this program with Grant United Way. So thank you, Citizens Bank. That's an amazing milestone for us. Um, Volunteer Income Tax Assistance is the program that we call VITA, that we're going to talk about today. It's a great program. It's one that, as the chair of the United Way board, I've been able to see grow for several years. And it's a, ma a massively impactful program for our city. Um, today, we've had 5,000 families that were helped. Uh, these are low to moderate income families across the state and even into Vermont. Uh, we have a number of partners that make this possible. Obviously, we have Citizens Bank and our other donors, but it takes a lot more than that. We have a lot of IRS certified volunteers and vital site leadership. Um, I believe we have some site people here today. If you could raise your hand just to show your, your involvement. Thank you. Appreciate that. Carrie's making it last minute changes here. That's not, that's not good for me. Um, so thank you. These volunteers are obviously the backbone of our program. And uh, there's actually a quality level the IRS holds us to, which is a 93% accuracy rating. And we exceed that every year. So thank you so much for the great work you do in making sure it's possible. Um, we do want to give special thanks to our IRS friends as well, because obviously right now there's a furlough going on where we hope their families are being taken care of. And hopefully they get back to work quickly to help us do our work. So um, an important part of the VITA program is also our partnership with the Taxpayer Project of the New Hampshire Bar Association. And Barbara Heggie is here today. Thank you, Barbara, for your involvement as well. Uh, Southern New Hampshire Services provides space for the sites that we use for conducting the work. Um, and Mitch Warren is here from Southern New Hampshire Services. Thank you. The, the workplace success locations that are throughout New Hampshire, how our citizens access the program, it's very important to have really accessible locations for all of the people. So we thank you for the work that you put into that. Um, as you may know, Grant United Way also runs the 211 program. And this is a great way for the citizens in New Hampshire to access information, referrals, um, and taxes are obviously one of those areas as well. The 211 program last year took 9,000 phone calls related to taxes. Uh, this year alone, they've already taken 1,000 calls. So it's a great way for them to help make the VITA program be even more successful. They also help us schedule the 5,000 um, appointments that we had last year. So we did 5,000 tax returns last year. Those 5,000 tax returns also returned $5 million to New Hampshire residents. Um, that's a major impact, $5 million going back to the families, staying in their pockets so that they can help 
with raise their families, clothe their families, house them, educate them. That's an important aspect for us. Two million dollars of that was also the earned income tax credit, which I know you're all ex excited to get out of here and celebrate today. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly be a half day at my office, I'm, I'm sure, as long as this doesn't get aired until next week. Um, so, but it's been great. And, and all of those um, efforts go together to obviously create additional financial stability in the market for our citizens. So we really appreciate that. Um, one of the most active areas that we have is obviously, <laughs> this isn't working out very well, um, is obviously Manchester, right? And so in Manchester alone, we did process 400 tax returns last year. So it, it helps the local citizens. Um, and that's why our partnership also with Citizens Bank is so great. Um, a lot of our donors nowadays are really looking to Grant United Way to help them steward their dollars in the right location to bring forth solutions to problems that we know exist. And Citizens Bank has been a wonderful partner in that. They really care about how they invest their dollars to give the best impact to those communities. So we thank them for that. Um, since Manchester is obviously one of our largest cities as well, I would like to ask Mayor Joyce Craig to come up and share a few words. Good morning. Such a pleasure to be here with all of you today. I just want to start by thanking Robert and NeighborWorks for hosting uh, Granite United Way for all that you do for the residents of Manchester and throughout the state, and for Citizens Bank uh, for your generous donation to keep this program going. I'd also like to thank and recognize the Vita volunteers. The work that you do helping those who need it, free of charge, is an incredible asset to our community. You know, I visited uh, the VITA site last year in Manchester and watched in awe as the volunteers helped residents prepare their tax returns. The individuals, like Lynn, who did not raise her hand but should have, um, were receiving help and they were so grateful. And the volunteers providing the assistance were so patient and kind, even knowing there was a room full of people waiting to head in to, help, to receive the help. Um, while I was there, I spoke to a 20-year-old who actually had graduated from high school with my son and a couple who lived in the south end of Manchester and both said that they received money back from working with the VITA volunteers and if they hadn't been here, they wouldn't have. And that's really impactful, as Sean had said. So I encourage everyone who qualifies for this program to call 211 and get in and get the help from the VITA volunteers. And I again want to thank the Granite United Way and Citizens Bank for ensuring this program is avail available to residents throughout the state. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. And we are, are doing our part. Events like this serve to ra raise awareness about the Earned Income Tax Credit, which 10,000 Manchester residents were able to claim last year, and 74,000 people uh, statewide. What the IRS has told us is there's also a large number of folks who don't claim that for a variety of reasons. Uh, some are in some of the, the flyers on the back room, uh, back of the room. People with disabilities or affected by a disability. Uh, people who may not realize that, uh, especially with the opioid crisis, there are more grand families, grandparents raising their grandchildren, who may not realize they are eligible for the earned income tax credit. So left unclaimed more than $37 million by an estimate of, of uh, just within our state from among some of our most vulnerable citizens. Uh, so VITA plays an important part of, first of all, helping put the money that people would have paid to go to a commercial preparer back in their pocket. Building savings is an important part of VITA as well. Uh, at a time when national surveys tell us four in 10 people of all income levels could not withstand an unexpected expense of $400 without going into debt. We encourage filers to split a portion of their refund at the time of filing. It can create a cushion in the event of a, a loss of income or unexpected expense. Our VITA filers build savings at tax time at four times the national average and turn it into a fun experience uh, with participation in a national uh, savings incentive promotion. And we have one person here who took advantage of all of that. Cassandra Tate really touched all the bases, all the things that we're, we're talking about. She called 211 to make her tax appointment, went to Workplace Success in Laconia to have her taxes done, claimed the earned income credit, and that gave her enough to put aside some money in savings at the time she filed her return. And just to make it more fun, she took part in the National Save Your Refund promotion, where there are random drawings throughout tax season, and then a separate entry where two grand prize winners were selected based on the most compelling stories. So this single mom who worked three jobs and, oh, by the way, put herself through school, was selected as one of two 
$10,000 grand prize winners in the country. As if that wasn't enough, Cassandra's here today to share a little bit more of her story. Cassandra, come on up. Well, good morning to everybody, and thank you for inviting me here. I'm very happy to be here. So as Carrie just said, um, I learned about the uh, VITA program through my job. They sent out a blast email basically giving you all the detailed information about how you can um, call 211 and get set up for an appointment and have your taxes done for free. And of course, I took the opportunity to do that. Um, and so I went, I'm, it's very, very simple, very easy to access, made my appointment, went in, um, met with the volunteers who were all very awesome, so helpful, uh, were able to get me the most out of my refund, uh, which is always great, you know, extra money and everything. They, they were very knowledgeable about all the credits you can get back um, at the time for my school, earn income credit, things that I qualified for, which I qualified for a pretty good amount of it. Um, and then they were very adamant about telling me about the program, um, the uh, Save Your Refund program. I, I usually save a great portion portion of my refund anyway so it was like hmm, why you know why not so I pretty much saved half and then uh, put the other half in my checking and um, I wasn't going to do the the refund contest because I'm like um, out of all these people that's probably gonna do it I'm not gonna win so uh, I had time on my hands that night at work and I said why not go for it so I did it and yeah, a few weeks later, I uh, got a call that I actually won. I was, I'm still in shock by that, <laughs> actually. I'm still like, oh my gosh, you know, maybe when I start spending the money, I'll, it'll hit me. But um, yeah, like I said, everybody was so helpful. The volunteers were so knowledgeable. Um, I, I, and then on top of that, not only just after that, they've been a great resource. They, you know, call me, help me out with things, give me advice for tax uh, situations, because you know that money, still got to do pay your taxes on it, right? So they, they keep in contact with me. So many other resources um, came along with that price list, you know, help with uh, business information. Carrie has been so very helpful um, with a lot of resources and everything too, and I'm just very, very grateful very easy. I, I encourage everybody who's eligible, even if you feel like you might not be, to contact them and see and get the information and you might be standing here next. So <laughs> thank you all. And, and Cassandra's been a joy to work with. She said with her $10,000, she just graduated. Maybe she wants to start a business. And she paused and said, well, maybe it'll be a home-based business. And then she paused again and said, oh, maybe I should get a home. So, <laughs> so she's been working with the folks here at the home team on a first-time home buyer class. And, you know, we're, we're taking steps appropriately. Uh, we're very excited to have that success. Uh, now I'd like to introduce uh, one of our greatest partners in this effort, Joe Corelli, president of Citizens Bank, to talk about their investments in our community that makes this all possible. Joe? Well, good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us. Um, you know, Cassandra, thank you for that story. You know, it's, it's so great to hear firsthand and personally from you really the effect of this program. We can all hear and talk about the benefits of a partnership like, like this, um, but hearing firsthand what that is, this has done to you, for you and your family, um, really brings it, um, brings it home. So thank you for sharing that wonderful story. You know, as you heard, um, this is the seventh year that Citizens Bank has partnered with so many of our partner agencies um, to make the VITA program a success. And yes, we do bring financial resources to the program, which we're very proud of. But we also bring a lot of volunteerism, as we'll talk about a little bit. Um, Citizens Bank has an ambassador program. We have many individuals throughout the organization that volunteer on their own time and their energy to help make this program a success. Last year, um, we had a dozen volunteers. I think we have a half a dozen of our volunteers here today, Bev. Um, Lynn, Sahar, Marielle, is anybody I've missed? Jen, uh, who we're going to hear from a little bit. Um, so, you know, we, we take our financial resources and our volunteerism really to partner with our agencies to make this a success. And we see firsthand the benefit of the program. 
Um, you've heard of the financial benefits. But at Citizens, we, th we, th we take it to another level. We think about um, this might be the first time a family or an individual has the ability to really think about um, financial planning. They get their taxes done. They see the benefit of reaching out and using these resources, getting a tax refund, and then using those resources to support their family, to secure their future. You know, that, that to me and to us at the bank is why we'll continue to support this program for all of the great benefits. Um, so, um, you know, thank you to all of our partner agencies for the, the, for the uh, tremendous support we've had. Um, one of our individuals that I'm going to ask to come to the stage is Jen Russell. Jen, Jen joined the bank a couple of years ago and has really personally made it her mission to, to be a promoter of financial literacy throughout the organization. Um, Jen, um, really from day one, decided that, you know, her, her job number one is to be able to volunteer in the communities. And for all of her volunteerism, just recently she was awarded the Chairman's Award, which is really the highest award that we give out to our colleagues that have really gone above and beyond to volunteer and to support our communities. So thank you, Jen, for all of your great work. And I'm going to ask Jen to come to the stage and, and share your story. Everybody. I want to start by saying, Cassandra, thank you for coming and sharing. I, this isn't part of my speech, but I have to say you touched me because it's people like you every single day that make me turn around and do what I do. I came from a background similar to yours, and I'm really grateful that, you know, VITA has the opportunity to touch people and families like yours. I'm sure that the impact is indescribable to your family. So my name is Jennifer Russell. I'm a financial advisor with Citizens for a little over two years. This is actually my second year volunteering for VITA. A little background on myself, I'm a single mother of four children, I'm an eight-year cancer survivor, and I've had to get a lot of financial assistance from various agencies throughout my years. Um, I don't think I'd be here today if it wasn't for some of those agencies that helped me and assisted me and showed me how to, to get through. These facts are some of the reasons why I'm so passionate about VIDA and the impact that it has on our communities and how it helps other families like mine and Cassandra's. My tax returns over the last few years have allowed me to better position myself financially. Like so many other families that have received their che refund checks every year, it puts us a little further. Um, the impact we can have on our families we serve is so critical to the growth and financial health out there. Like Cassandra said, a lot of times they don't really know where to turn, so to have those places to turn to. Unfortunately, financial literacy is not um, something we actively teach here in the United States, and people don't always know where to turn to get that advice. I found um, last year that so many of the families that we service through VITA are looking for assistance with things such as mortgage, student debt, 401k and retirement. Um, you know, they want to be able to remove their debt and fix their credit. The education that we can give um, to these people is just invaluable. It, it sets them up for their future. And I'm honored and excited to be involved again this year. And I'm so grateful to the United Way and to Citizens Bank for, you know, allowing us to be involved in this this organization and I'm truly grateful for the opportunity and I look forward to this year. Thanks. So at this point I'd like Carrie, the mayor, and Sean maybe to, to join us up at the, the podium. I think I have something hidden behind the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> well, lots of attention to what's behind the curtain. So at this time, you know, on behalf of all of our colleagues at, at Citizens Bank, uh, we'd like to kickstart the VITA uh, program and EIC Awareness Day, I believe I heard, um, with this $50,000 contribution for Citizens Bank. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. Thank you all for coming. That concludes our program. Thank you, Mayor Craig, for the continuing support of the City of Manchester. Thank you all for the, the part that you play. Uh, Cassandra couldn't say enough about, uh, glad you discovered uh, VITA and have c continued to come back and uh, the benefits that uh, you and, and many others have seen. We, we look forward to uh, an exciting tax season 
many happy returns. And, <laughs> and, and drive home safely. <laughs>